testing establishes the quality of raw silk and makes it possible to classify the silk against predetermined standards. Grading silk in this way enables the buyer to select silk suitable to his needs. It also gives the supplier a clear idea of standards he should aim for in manufacturing his product. Silk conditioning and testing houses have been set up for this purpose in all sericulturally advanced countries. In established silk conditioning and testing houses at Bangalore, Dharmavaram, Kanchivaram, Kashmir, Jammu, Srinagar and Malda under the National Sericulture Project. These houses have all the facilities to test and grade raw silk according to the international standards. Different systems of grading. The earlier system used was developed by the International Silk Association. Under this ISA system, silk was graded from 6A to E. As raw silk characteristics improved, the ISA revised the system came into use, restricting the grades from 4A to B. Testing under these systems include conditioned weight test, winding test, size test, seriplane test, serigraph test and cohesion test. The raw silk presently available in India has poor technological characteristics and fails below the lowest grade of international standards. Therefore, a new system of testing and grading have been developed specifically for Indian silk taking into consideration the practical problems and the need to establish a qualitative point of reference for the silk industry. However, the testing facilities include all tests. As quality of Indian silk improved, testing will be needed according to the international grading system. Grading of Indian raw silk. Three main tests are carried out. They are visual tests, winding tests and size tests. The marks obtained in each are total and the raw silk graded according to the classification chart as follows. For grade 1, the mark should be 80 and above. For grade 2, it is 60 to 79.5. For grade 3, 49 to 59.5 grade 4 48.5 and below drawing of the samples nine skeins should be drawn from each lot of 40 cages to be tested out of which five skeins are to be used for mechanical tests namely winding and size tests and four skeins for conditioning tests lots weighing more than 40 cages are considered to be double sized and 10 skeins should be drawn for mechanical test and 4 skeins for conditioning test. The testing house will hand over the test results along with the gradation value of the sample supplied within a specified time. After testing, the silk skeins along with the kilchas made for size test will be handed over to the beneficiaries. 8 to 10 grams of raw silk is used for kilcha making for the size test and those can be used as web for weaving. Therefore, there is no loss of silk in testing. This service is meant to benefit individuals interested in checking the quality of raw silk for sale and manufacture. Visual testing. The raw silk is examined in a room with natural light. There are three major characters under visual examination, uniformity. The silk is examined for uniformity of its color, luster and hand. General finish, reeling defects, gum spots, loose ends, raised threads, cut ends, soil threads and damage by friction etc are checked. Nature. Under this, color, luster and hand are recorded.
the objective of this test is to determine the number of breaks that occur while winding the raw silk during a specified period. The test indicates the feasibility of the schemes for winding process. The winding frame is an apparatus used for winding and has the following features. Adjustable winding speed of 110, 140 and 165 meters per minute. The friction wheels on which both ends of each of the double flanged bobbay are made to turn should run smoothly with uniform rate of rotation. The swift used in the test should have 6 automatic self centering pins attached to the arms that radiate from the ribs. The swift should weigh about 530 grams. In order to maintain uniform tension during winding and to maintain uniform speed, the bobbins used for the tet should be smooth and well balanced. For 70 gram skein samples, 40 out of 50 skeins are considered for winding test. 20 skeins are wound from the outer surface and 20 skeins from the inner surface. The case of 140 gram sample skeins, 20 skeins are considered for the test. 10 skeins are wound from the outer surface and 10 from the inner surface. During the test, the temperature and humidity should be closer to the standard conditions prescribed. The temperature should be 20 degrees centigrade and the humidity should be 65 percent relative humidity. The speed of the winding machine and the duration of the test are fixed based on the denier. The following table gives speeds for the various denier ranges and the winding time. It may be noted from the table that preliminary winding time of 5 to 10 minutes is permitted for the skeins bound from the inner surface. Recording of the results. The winding test results are recorded in two parts, breaks and skein finish inspection. Breaks. The record will show the number, the total number of breaks for 20 or 40 skeins and table of frequency distribution of skeins for each number of breaks. Skin finish inspection. The total penalty for various inconveniences caused during the winding is calculated from the penalty. Based on this, it is reported as good, fair, or poor. If the result is poor, it has to be mentioned along with the degree and the frequency of inconvenience in the test certificate. Advantages and methodology. Based on the winding test, it is possible to assess the performance of the raw silk in the process required prior to fabric manufacture such as winding, doubling, twisting, etc. If there is a large number of winding breaks, one can predict a lowered efficiency in processing, increased labor, impaired quality of the end product and generally a reduced economy of operations. Size deviation test. Importance and methodology. The size test determines how fine or coarse a yarn is and also the magnitude of variability of the yarn. Raw silk is selected for a particular end use on the denier of the raw silk. Therefore, this test is vital to traders, weavers and other involved in designing and manufacturing silk products. Samples of 5 skins of raw silk are used. From every sample, 20 small lengths of 225 meters each are prepared. These lengths are called kilchas are wound on auto wrap wheels. 
the kilchas are placed in an auto sorter which weighs the kilchas and automatically prints out a form of giving the average size standard deviation and 10 marks for maximum deviation. Under this test, quality characteristics like percentage of evenness, cleanness and neatness of raw silk or acetane which in turn determine the degree of evenness, kind and number of cleanness defects and neatness defects. The panel is defined as a section of raw silk of 127 mm width and 457 mm length uniformly wound on a wound from a bobbin onto an inspection board. Seriplane is an equipment used to prepare panels on the inspection board. Seriplane is designed to revolve the inspection board at uniform speed so that the raw silk can be wound on it to form a panel with uniform spacing. The machine has to be provided with tension device to wind the yarn at uniform tension. The inspection board should be uniformly flat having a black surface without streaks, bars or other imperfections. Cleanness test. The objective of this test is to determine the kind and number of cleanness defects of raw silk. The cleanness defects are divided into three groups namely super major defects, major defects and minor defects. Super major defects are those defects in raw silk yarn which are 10 or more times as large as minimum size of the major defects in length or in size. Major defects are further divided into five kinds. Waste. It is a mass of entangled cocoon filament attached to the thread. Second, large slugs. These are considerably thickened places in the thread having more than 7 mm or more in length or extremely thickened places with less length. Third one, bad cast. These are abruptly thickened places in the thread due to cocoon filament not properly attached to the thread or this is made by adding more than one cocoon filament at a time. Very long knots. These are knots having loose ends more than 10 mm in length caused by improper knotting. Heavy cord screws. These are places in the thread where one or more of the cocoon filaments are larger than the remainder and give the appearance of spiral form. Minor defects are divided into four kinds. Small slugs. These are considerably thickened places in the thread having the length of 2 mm to less than 7 mm or extremely thickened places with less than 2 mm in length. Long knots. These are knots having loose ends of 3 mm to less than 10 mm in length. Cord screws. These are places in the thread where one or more of the cocoon filaments are longer than the remaining ones and gives the appearance of a spiral form. Long loops or split ends. These are loops or split ends having 10 mm or more in length when measured along the filament. Recording of the results. Each class or group of defects is penalized at the following rate. Each of super major defects 1 percent, each of major defect 0.4 percent, each of minor defect is 0.1 percent. The total penalty for the defects in 100 panels is calculated by the above rate. 
the total penalty is detected from 100 to get cleanness percentage. The record will show the number of defects under cleanness test. The objective of this test is to determine the neatness percentage of raw silk. Neatness defects are those defects in the raw silk thread which are smaller than this classifies as minor defects under cleanness test. Following are the imperfections considered under neatness test. Nibs, these are small thickened places or spots which are less than 2 mm in length. Loops, loops are small open places in the thread due to one or more filament being longer than the other and less than 10 mm in length. Hairiness or fuzziness, it is the condition of thread where small loose ends of less than 10 mm are protruding from the thread. Small particles of cocoons projecting from the thread are also considered. Raw knots, knots which have loose ends less than 3 mm length. Fine cord screws, small cord screws appearing in the yarn are known as fine cord screws. The standard photographs for neatness defects prepared by the silk conditioning house of Yokohama and Kobe are used for this test. The 100 panels prepared for measuring cleanness percentage are used in this test. The inspection panels are observed from a distance of 0.5 meters or say 2 feet and each panel is compared with the standard photographs for neatness defects and its neatness value which is estimated in percentage. From 100 percent to 50 percent the estimate has to be nearest 5 percent, below 50 percent the estimate should be nearest 10 percent according of the results. Neatness percentage of each panel has to be indicated along with the average neatness percentage of total of 100 panels. Further, low neatness percentage should also be indicated. Low neatness percentage is represented by an average percent age of 20 low panels. The objective of this test is to determine the tenacity and elongation percentage of raw silk. Tenacity is the strength expressed in grams per denier and elongation percentage is the ratio that the raw silk can be stretched before it breaks. The performance of raw silk in various operations like winding, doubling, twisting, warping and weaving during fabric manufacture is influenced by these two characteristics and hence it is of much practical importance. Elongation, the objective of this test is to determine tenacity and elongation of raw silk. Tenacity is the test expressed in grams per denier, elongation is the amount of stretch when the yarn is being pulled to its breaking point. The apparatus used for this test is called serigraph. The serigraph machine is a tensile strength testing machine with an automatic attachment recording simultaneously the tensile force and the corresponding elongation. Specimen gauge length used for 10 centimeters and travel speed of 15 centimeters per minute is used. 10 sample skins are taken out from the 50 sample skins drawn from the lot. From each of these 10 sample skins, a sizing skin is prepared. The 10 sizing skins thus prepared make a sample for the test. These sizing skins 
are kept in the standard atmospheric condition that is 65 percent humidity and 27 degrees centigrade temperature before being taken for testing. Standard conditions have to be maintained where the serigraph and the balance for testing of size are kept. Each sizing scheme is first tested for size and then tested on the serigraph machine. Recording of the result. Tenacity is calculated as grams per denier and the elongation percentage in both the cases average speed of 10 values is indicated. The cohesion test. The objective of this test is to determine the degree of agglutination of the cocoon filaments forming the thread. This test is conducted on an instrument as Duplan cohesion tester. The number of strokes required to open the individual filaments are recorded. Lesser the stroke, poorer the cohesive property and higher the strokes, better the cohesive property. Cohesive property is important since it directly impairs the fabric quality if the yarn is not having sufficient cohesiveness. Dupion silk testing. Large quantities of Dupion silk produced from defective cocoons are transacted at silk exchanges. Quality parameters of Dupion silk is judged from its winding behavior and size characteristics. A report is prepared on winding breaks, average size denier, average deviation, x maximum size deviation as in the case of reelers or traders. As there is no standard for gradation of Indian Dupion silk, no gradation value is awarded. See lots of auction. If the raw silk to be tested is intended for sale at the silk exchange, it is more convenient for all concerned to dispatch the entire lot to the silk conditioning and testing house. The testing house undertakes the full responsibility of testing, grading, sealing and attesting the lots and sends the entire consignment to the silk exchange for auction. The flow chart explains the sequence of events as follows. Number 1. At the receiving counter, the lot is weighed and the gross weight recorded along with the code number and the source area, date of reeling and date of testing. Number 2. The entire lot is spread out for visual testing, results are recorded and samples of 5 to 10 skins drawn for further testing. The samples are marked with the code number of the lot. Number 3. The coded lot is sealed and sent to the godown. The coded samples are sealed and sent to the laboratory. Number 4. Winding and size tests are carried out. Number 5. The test results are compiled. Number 6. The test results are entered along with the grade on the special SCTH forms. Number 7, the lot is sealed along with the samples and test results in the special cotton bag bearing the stamp and print of the silk conditioning and testing house. The code number and the test results are attested. Number 8, the sealed lot is dispatched to the silk exchange for auction. The silk conditioning and testing houses therefore provide an essential service to the sericulture.